everybody, thanks for stopping by and checking out my channel today. Uh, if you've not already done so, hit that subscribe button. We'd love to keep you, you know, updated when new content comes out. Uh, today, I'm actually joining you from the perspective of a room kit mini, uh, from the camera perspective of that endpoint. Uh, as you can see, I mean, video quality is great, audio quality is uh, pretty good as well. Um, I am in front of the unit now with a feature called Best Overview Enabled. So this feature is uh, cropping the image, uh, you know, focusing on the individual who's speaking, mainly myself, uh, and uh, it sends that improved uh, image to the far end of the call as well. So in this case, that's what you're seeing and what you're experiencing. So uh, anyway, this is best overview. Um, this endpoint has a 120, feet, 120 degree field of view. Uh, so if I had more people in the room here, uh, maybe two more people or three more people gathered around, uh, and it's moved to focus on them. So for instance, if I actually moved uh, nearly off the side of the screen, you notice that it cuts me off, it then refocuses and uh, you know expands to, to capture the person who's off to the side. So uh, that's, that's the RoomKit Mini with the Best Overview feature enabled. I actually want to turn Best Overview off, uh, and you can see it shows the whole room um, with, you know, without that, that cropping. It's still a pretty great image. Quite honestly, uh, it gives a little bit of a fisheye effect if you look kind of towards the, you know, the outer edges uh, because it's, it's a fixed position camera, right? It's, uh, it's capturing a pretty wide field uh, and then de-warping it so there's no uh, or very little of that, uh, that skewed fisheye effect, uh, again, while still capturing a wide image. So uh, the next thing I want to show you is the actual debugging and diagnostic, uh, you know, demonstration of how Best Overview works. Uh, so on the Touch 10, we'll actually go to the upper left-hand corner, drop down the menu, hit Settings, and uh, under that there's a thing called Issues and Diagnostics. And last but not least, there is a switch for Speaker Track Diagnostics. Uh, with speaker track diagnostics on or best overview diagnostics, you can see the face uh, facial recognition on my face is, is highlighted by the green box. You see the uh, the box around here. This is the uh, this is how the image would actually be cropped and sent. You know, just the inside of that image would be sent to the far end. Uh, so that is that that tracking. Uh, on previous endpoints we called it speaker track, uh, and in larger endpoints you probably would call it speaker track as well. And this is just best overview. Um, because it's essentially just cropping uh, the image. Next, I'll point out people count up here in the corner. It's showing one person in the room, and that's me. Uh, you can use this feature. I actually have another video about this feature that, that talks about some of the practical applications of it, tracking the number of people that use video rooms, uh, understanding, you know, do you have enough or, or too few video endpoints, and so on and so forth. Uh, this is that inf information displayed, and again, that facial recognition that you're seeing uh, on myself is what's driving that. So uh, something else to be aware of. Um, that's, uh, that's kind of the main gist and the main overview of this feature. Turn off the, uh, the tracking there. Um, hopefully that's been helpful. If you have questions about what cameras or what endpoints you should have for a video conference room, Feel free to leave a comment. Happy to kind of help guide that discussion. I'm also going to post a resource called uh, Project Workplace, which is part of Cisco's website. This actually gives you uh, kind of CAD drawings and images and just ideas on how to deploy these endpoints. Uh, you don't want to cheap out on an endpoint, right? These they're very high quality, but they are specific built for certain use cases. So check out Project Workplace and uh, be sure to work with your Cisco partner or Cisco account team to get the proper endpoint. But uh, anyway, I want to thank you for watching. Uh, and as always, um, we hope to see you here again soon. Take care. We'll talk to you soon.